Hey guys, so today I just want to show you how to hide a folder and like put a password on it so that uh, nobody can go into it or e even see it. They can't even see it so they don't even know that it's there. So you're going to want to use this, this thing called uh, Hide Folders 5.1. Uh, this works for any, any version of Windows from uh, Windows XP to uh, Windows 8. So yeah, it works for all of them. Uh, it's pretty simple. This is where you download it from. So I'll have the link uh, down in the description there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the download button. Um, yeah, you got to actually register here to be able to download this. It takes only two seconds to register. It's real easy. And then, uh, yeah, <coughs> this is where you download it from. So it's uh, kind of different. This one, you just click on here to download. And it's six megs. It's not going to take too long. should be done in, yeah, real fast here. Here it goes. All right, 99%. All right, 100. Okay, so it's downloaded, and uh, mine. I'm using C Chrome as my browser, so it appears down here in the bottom left. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to open it. Uh, this is a RAR file, so I use WinRAR to open RAR files. You might actually be using something different. Uh, Windows comes with its own uh, RAR thing now. So you don't really need to use WinRAR, but anyways, so here it is, and I'm going to extract this, and I'm going to extract this my downloads folder, and I'm going to hit OK. So now it's been extracted to the downloads folder, and I can close this as well. And now I'm going to open my folder, folder explorer, Windows Explorer, which is this one, and then. I want to go to my downloads folder, which is right here, and the hide folders. That's the 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 one that we extracted there. So I'm gonna open that. Oh, looks like there's another folder inside it. Open again, and here it says HF5 setup. So I'm gonna double click on that to run it, and hit the run button. All right, hit yes. In English, yes. Next, I accept, yes, next, 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 install. So it's a pretty small program, so it really won't take too long. Uh, and here, click no, you don't need the, this extension. And then hit finish. <coughs> and now, I don't know if it's going to open up right away. Nope. All right, so now that it's not open, which is a good thing, there's a crack folder here, and we're gonna want to copy this file right here, and we're gonna want to copy it into the folder that this program installed itself into. So it's usually under C, and then it would be in Program Files. Oops, Program Files probably uh, the x86 one, and we're gonna look for it, hide folders. Uh, no, it's not there. So we'll look in the other program file here. Oh yeah, there we go. I folder. So this is a 64-bit program then. <coughs> and then we're going to want to paste that file that we copied into this folder here. And hit the continue. And voila, now we paste this file right here, this MSI file, into the, the folder of hide folders. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and run hide folders. <coughs> All right, so it says it's trial copy, and there's 30 days left. So what you need to do is you go to Tools here, and then you go to Enter Registration Code. And then it asks you your name, so I'm going to put Phil, and then enter your code. For that, we're going to have to go back into the folder that we first extracted here and underneath crack was the keys folder so we're going to go into this folder and view this text file <coughs> okay all the names are together so if you view this text file make sure you view it with uh, I think notepad plus plux or write will work or wordpad I mean don't use notepad use wordpad or notepad plus plus I think we'll do it yeah here we go see they're all uh, separated instead of being all together like they were in notepad 
so we're going to copy this this uh, this key that we need and we're going to enter it here in the code and hit OK. Thank you for registration. All right. So now it's registered. So now I just closed it and now I'm going to open it again. Hide folders. There it is. Let's go ahead and run it. Well, it's registered, but I'm going to see if it's still running here. Open up the task manager and see if it's still running. Yeah, it is. Hide folders. There it is. So we'll just end that in here. Let's run it again. There we go. Totally registered now. So now to hide a folder, we're going to go to this edit list button here and we're going to click on add and we're going to add a folder, one with all my porn in it so my wife doesn't see it or something like that. But anyways, uh, so let's say that the folder I want to hide is hide me right there. That's the one I created earlier and then I hit OK. And I'm going to want to hit hide and lock. So it's hidden and there's a password on it. Uh, so now, there you go. It's hidden and locked. But I think that right now, we have, uh, we got to set a password. So you got to hit that password button and enter a new password. So I'm going to put in a password for that, for my password to get through those files. And then a hint if I want, uh, there you go. And then your emails, just in case, if you can't remember the password, and it'll, it'll help you find it. But you don't need to put that in. And then OK. Uh, it's asking you if you need the e if you want the email. Doesn't matter. There you go. So now, if I go into C, my hide me folder is is gone. You can't see it now because this program is hiding it. And uh, now, if I was to run it. Uh, and if I'm to run this hide folders program now, it's actually going to ask me for a password. So I can't even get into it unless I put in the password. And still, like uh, the file is still not seeable. You can't still can't see it. So you actually have to go here and hit the properties and go to unprotect. And voila, the folder is back, the hide me folder. So that's how you uh, put a password and hide uh, a folder in Windows.